Hey guys, this is Adam and welcome to another edition of Behind the Box. Okay, so you can see that today it's just me. Uh, we're coming off of Phoenix Comic Con. We, we're, uh, we're based out of Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, Phoenix Comic Con was an absolute blast. Unfortunately, Matt, who usually will do all the videos with me, has just come down with some kind of crazy sickness since being there. So we miss him. We miss his beard. Uh, but he'll definitely be back next time. We want to make sure that we can get this video out for you guys. All right, so this month's theme for the BAM box was abilities, and it was really, really exciting. Obviously, I had a cool autograph. We had leaked that there was going to be an autograph from a, a villain who is on a major network television show. And you guys have seen it, and it's just really cool. So we'll get into it. So let's open this thing up and check it out. All right, let's open up the BAM box. And as many of you noticed, there is a new box design this month. So really excited. We had a couple different prototypes that we went with and ended up with this one. I love it uh, because it's just so clean. Uh, a lot of you said, oh, I think this is like the BAM box uh, URL. Actually, this is URL to our online community. I'm going to get more uh, to that here in just a minute. But... As soon as you open up, I, I did a little uh, makeshift box here so you see both pins under there, but as soon as you open up, you see the new edition BAM pins. Now this is really exciting for me personally because when I started BAM box, this was one of the ideas that was around right from the beginning and I knew I wanted to see if the box would get to a certain stage before we began introducing BAM pins and obviously the box did which is really exciting for us so thank you thank you thank you we're growing like crazy and as we grow it just gives us more opportunities to continue to put really cool things into this box and even get better as we go along which is exciting for us here so the introduction of BAM pins was something that I have been just waiting for and what a better one than this month to be able to pull off on the month of abilities Spider-Mander. So Charmander is my favorite Pokemon. I knew that I wanted to use him somewhere along the lines and it really seemed to fit for this BAM pin. We went back and forth on a couple of different superheroes that we would try to do a mashup with. And Chris, who is the other owner of Bambox, uh, we, were, we were talking about it in a meeting. Chris says, uh, Spider-Mander. And as soon as he said it, I was like, bam, there it is. And we say bam a lot here at the office. So, uh, and if I actually say boom, I will always get corrected. So we're doing a good job here. Spider-Mander just seemed to completely fit. Really, really cool. Love it. The pins came out really great. So here's something I want to talk about. Let me pull this up. So obviously you had the regular pin and then we had the gold variant pin. I wanted to make sure, and this was the idea from the very get-go, that when we did these pins, this wasn't going to be something that, this isn't, isn't knocking any other box out there, but we knew we didn't want to just do the little, uh, the little circle pins. And we also knew we didn't want to do a pin that was either either branded or went along with the theme of the box as far as just explaining what the theme is, you know, the abilities and cursive or something like that. The idea has always been and will continue to be that we are, we are creating things that have a collectible value to them. And so about a year, a little over a year ago, I have another friend named Matt who got me into Disney trading pins. And uh, it, it's crazy, it's one of the biggest trading communities on the planet. I mean, Disney has cruises, you know, the Disney cruises that they do. They have cruises that are completely set just for pin collectors uh, to be able to trade pins. And it's, a, it's definitely bucket list stuff for me. I've gotta get on one of these cruises. So I wanted to make sure that all of our pins have a collectability to them. So there's different things that I'm gonna point out here. Number one, that we did a variant. Uh, this variant's really cool. And, and we call these hat pins. Obviously it doesn't mean that they have to just go on a hat. You can see I've got my filthy casual hat on today. A little shout out to those guys. Uh, we hooked up with them at Phoenix Comic Con. Really excited to see if there's some things that come from that in the future. Uh, but you can see it's right here that I got my Charmander right there on my hat pin. Uh, but a couple things that I want to point out. So if I open it, this up, obviously we wanted to make sure the packaging was great. We wanted to make sure that it was on a really cool card. Uh, we wanted to make sure, this is something I saw from the transition from the Disney pins in the late 90s, early 2000s to now, uh, is that there's a, what's called a double post, okay? So when I take this off, 
that means that there's two different posts that are there. It just gives the pin uh, the, the assurance that, you know, often if you do a pin this big and we just put a single post on, it leaves so much room for this thing to get caught, to get knocked off. And we didn't want that. So all of our pins uh, will have the double post on them. It's just a, a signature of quality. The other thing that was really important to me, I cannot stand those little metal clasps that go on the back of some of the other pins that we get. Disney has little black rubber uh, pin stoppers that have the Disney ears on them, which are just ridiculous. So we went ahead and did the black rubber stoppers as well. Uh, and obviously, especially if something on your hat, this is actually touching part of my head, and so I don't even feel it just because I'm not, I don't have a piece of metal that's digging in there. Uh, we want to make sure that it was just a really high quality pin that you'd instantly be able to tell what it was uh, and that it would be a representation of fandom. Now for the, the limited edition pin, we did the gold variant. We chose to do the gold color variant. A lot of the variants that you'll see coming up will look a little bit different that, hint, hint. Uh, but here's something that's really cool that I don't think a lot of people knew. I've, sh I've showed a couple people uh, that showed up at Phoenix Comic Con with one of these and said, I got the gold variant. I'm like, oh, what number did you get? And they're like, what do you mean? Uh, and so this is, this, is, this is the fun part for us. Gold variant, if you take it off of the card, take off the, the, the rubber stoppers that are here on the back, uh, and pull it away from the card. We just have uh, two of these, so uh, for display purposes. Um, this right here is actually numbered. All of the, you won't be able to see it there on the camera, but all of the gold pins are numbered, which is awesome. So when you're getting this gold variant, there's only 250 of these made, but again, it's a collectability factor. You want to be able to turn this thing around, and this happens to be number 171 of 250. That I know that I have number 171 of 250, and that there are only 249 other gold pins out there besides this one that I have. Again, just adding to that collectability factor. So, very cool. Band pins are going to be exciting, and there's going to only be some uh, an increase in them as we go along, and you'll see what that means. I don't want to give away too much. All right, let's open up the box. I'm going to do like uh, some of you guys do on YouTube where I just reach in. So I want you to know we watch all of the videos on YouTube. Now these aren't paid people that, that we're, we're asking them, giving them money and asking them to give us good reviews. These are all just straight up honest reviews. And it's incredible. Uh, there's been a lot of really positive criticism that's come from it that we've been able to take and change and tweak because we listen to that stuff from you guys. We don't have this thing all figured out. We want to continue to get better. The moment as a company that we think that we have this thing figured out or we have the corner on some sort of part of the niche of the subscription box, then we, we absolutely have failed you and we will not do that. We will always listen, always tweak, always try to improve, always try to get better. It is the cornerstone of how this subscription box, the band box, has been built. So, uh, but we watch the videos and we love them. I mean, it, it's, as soon as a new one comes on, someone in the office I'll hear from down the hall will be like, hey, there's a new video, and we'll all crowd into the conference room and turn it on on one of the TVs, and so it's super cool. So let's start with the cardboard VR glasses. Now, a lot of people got this and had no idea what it was, and that was great. Uh, Chris is actually the one who curated this one. He, he, he helped me curate some of this box. Uh, he's got a really cool eye for some of the stuff. Uh, and, and Chris was like, hey, this is an item I think would be really great inside the abilities box. And you guys saw what we did. We did with the abilities. We wanted every item to be attached to an ability, right? So we wanted the items that we were putting up to, to be able to say uh, in, in, in visibility or if it was going to be uh, telekinesis or whatever it was. And so this one was great. All right, these are really cool. So you have the, the strap here, which is great. Uh, this thing just flips open because obviously this is for a phone. Uh, so the insert that is here flips over really quick to the side. Uh, what's awesome about these, again, we love the fact that there are uh, a place for the actual headband. So that flips over on that side. I can't tell you how many of these that I've built now, so it looks like I'm a pro, but when I first fumbled through this thing, it was uh, probably pretty hilarious. So, uh, and then this one comes down as well, and then you have that ability to actually put it on your head. So one of the apps uh, that we put a little card that we actually put in the box was, I think you pronounce it Verse, uh, it's V-R-S-E. That app is incredible. So I'm a big fan of the band Muse. Uh, they were actually just here in, in Phoenix uh, sometime during the winter and went and saw the, the drones towards freaking incredible show. But on that Verse app, they have different uh, short films, uh, and different music videos, and one of the music videos they have is uh, from Muse, and it's, it's off the new album, and it's crazy because you're literally standing in the middle of this music video. I mean, one minute you're, you're like actually up on the kick drum, and then you're, you're, next minute you're over here, and there's 
the riot happening between police and people and there's stuff getting thrown over the top. I mean, it is just absolutely crazy. So these are incredible. Well, we'd love to put an Oculus Rift in every single box for you, yes. Uh, but instead, we wanted everyone to be able to get the chance to see just how cool this new ability is uh, to be able to immerse yourself in a completely uh, 360 degree environment. Awesome, really excited for VR for the future. So this is an incredible, incredible item that we had a lot of fun with. Okay, next we have got, you can hear the magnets going now. We have got the magnetic putty. This stuff is just absolutely crazy. When this came in, uh, I've had great conversations with a lot of you uh, uh, just about how much fun you've had with it. When this came in, productivity completely dropped. I still have it sitting on my desk. Uh, it's just fun. I just love, I love personally just throwing the magnet in the goop and just watching it like eat it. It's so totally, totally crazy. But the ability to, I mean, this reminds me, uh, I think it does probably a lot of us of uh, Silly Putty as a kid. Um, I, I, one of my favorite things in the world to do is that dang Silly Putty with, um, uh, would run it flat and, and put it over a, a newspaper magazine and I, I always thought that was so awesome. But what's really fun about this is that um, you obviously have the ability to, to maneuver this stuff because it just is trying to grab a hold of, uh, of everything in here. And we actually had contests uh, there in the, within the office. You may not be able to see this really well on the, uh, on the actual screen, but we had contests within the office of who could get this to go uh, the farthest standing up. and so. Uh, I won't try it because I completely lost. I was not very good at it. Uh, and then everyone else would be like, look at what I did. And I just would dump mine in the middle and, and think it was awesome. So this was, again, another one of those items that you just don't see in a subscription box. It's fun. It's cool. Uh, it's something you can sit at your desk and you can have. And, and, and again, a conversation piece. I can't tell you how many different people, when people come through the office a lot, uh, they're like, what is that? And, and then I'm like, oh, you, you haven't seen this? Oh, check it out. And, you know, dump the magnet. And look, it's eating the magnet. It's crazy. So... Uh, another good conversation piece, good fun uh, item that we were able to put in this month's band box. So there is Magnetic Putty. Okay, next we got a couple jewelry boxes down here. Let's see what we got, see what we got. All right, this was awesome. Uh, this is one of the ones that had the 1UP card. Obviously, there is only one ring to rule them all. Uh, and here's two. That didn't really make sense. So. Uh, this was really fun. So we did, I'll show this one first, we did the black variant ring, which again, it's just something that's unique and different. When we talked to the jeweler uh, who made these, it, quality was really important for us. Again, uh, the band box is something that we want to be synonymous with just not only different and fun and crazy and what are they going to do next, but also quality of items. So uh, these rings have an in insane high quality. They come on a really nice chain. I've been calling it Elvin for years, uh, but recently I was abruptly corrected by somebody who said that is actually Elvish. I don't know why Elvin sounded so good. I don't know. So, uh, but this is really awesome. So we have got uh, just a really high quality ring that has the Elvish writing on the outside and then also on the inside. We actually had someone post on Instagram, which was really cool. Uh, it was a wife who posted a picture of her and her husband's hand. Uh, and she said, check out his new ring. And he's actually now wearing this as his wedding ring, which I thought was uh, really awesome. So uh, this is really, really cool. Uh, this is the, the black variant, but we had a limited, a one up for the 18 karat gold plated ring, which is, is just crazy. I mean, the quality is insane. 18 karat gold plated, I mean, come on. So, uh, and, and just the way, I mean, it's, it looks so great, the way that the Elvish writing is on it. So again, when you think of abilities, it's really easy just to get stuck in the, in, in the comic book realm. And we didn't want to do that. We wanted to be able to offer something a little bit wider. So uh, when someone had mentioned doing invisibility uh, and, and someone said, oh, the one ring, it was like, Ding, 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 there it is. And so this was a great one to curate and put in the box. Uh, and again, another one that you can hang up. Another one that you, a lot of people are wearing them. Uh, it's something that looks really good if you have any kind of Lord of the Rings display. This this, this can become part of it uh, to really help it uh, uh, kind of come together. So this is the invisibility for the one ring. Okay, let's get to the autographs that are in the box. The first one for all you Wolverine fans just absolutely went crazy over this. I love Rick Martin's interpretation of Hugh Jackman as the Wolverine. Rick Martin is an incredible guy, an incredible artist, uh, and on a lot of different mediums. Uh, but uh, we really loved what he did with this print. He's more of a graffiti style, uh, and he's just an incredible guy. We're actually getting ready to uh, move here pretty soon into a new office because we're growing like crazy, and that is you guys. So thank you. Thanks for all the love. Thanks for all the support, spreading the word about Bandbox. Um, 
And one of the things that I said to Rick was, hey, when we get into new office, I want a wall that is that he just takes. I want to be, to be Rick Martin's graffiti wall. And then I want all of this stuff, multiple characters, different scenes. I want all on the wall, and he's really excited. So this was an incredible, incredible piece. And again, signed, uh, he ins inscribed BAM on all of them and then numbered out of 1,999. So really like this. And, and, and again, to be able to put the Wolverine in, obviously, with the healing factor, uh, a lot of people went crazy over the Wolverine print. And we love seeing your guys' pictures. There's, there's been several of you that have been sending in the art prints. You're actually getting them framed, putting them up on the wall and displaying them. Keep sending those to us. Hit, them, uh, hit us up at, at the Bandbox on Instagram, at the Bandbox on Twitter, uh, and then also to our Facebook page because we love seeing that stuff. Uh, really, really cool piece by Rick Martin uh, in his interpretation of Hugh Jackman as the Wolverine. All right, let's go to the final autograph that is here. Now, we had leaked that there was going to be an autograph from a, a villain who is currently playing a role on a nationally syndicated television show and we were so excited a lot of people were speculating different people could be and we heard all kinds of really cool ones from uh, you know villains in once upon a time to uh, some more walking dead I mean we heard all over the place uh, and, and I think there were a couple people who actually said it would be so cool to see uh, zoom and you know, we see this, of course, I'm like, oh, of course it is. So what an incredible photograph. This is the concept photograph for the Zoom costume. And it is signed by the iconic Tony Todd. I mean, this guy is an absolute icon. I have the memory still to this day, I, I when I walk past the bathroom or, or somewhere else where there's a mirror and I can see the mirror and it's kind of dark, I still shudder because I remember my friend Doc uh, my friend Angie and my friend Michelle, the four of us, went over to Michelle's house in seventh grade and we we're going to rent a movie and uh, we want to rent a horror movie, we wanted to get scared and so we rented Candyman uh, who was played by Tony Todd and I, I still remember. So Tony is just an absolute incredible, incredible guy. Now here's somebody who again has played some really iconic roles. Now, obviously, Candyman, he's lent his voice to some really iconic roles. Uh, he also in Final Destination, uh, and he's got other things that he's going. We were trying to hit him in between in between shoots and movies that he's coming up in, so uh, it was really cool to be able to do, and he was finishing up um, some different, some last minute things uh, with The Flash. So uh, we really love this. Tony Todd, inscribed Zoom, uh, signed photograph. Uh, couldn't believe that we were able to get Tony. Uh, he was excited to be able to do it for the band box. Uh, and put this in every single box for you guys. So a true piece of memorabilia here. Don't just let this sit somewhere in a box. Frame it, display it, uh, because this is the voice of Zoom. All right, guys, that is it for May's Abilities box. What a great box, really fun for us to be able to introduce a new box. The uh, introduction of the BAM pins, to be able to do the, the, some of the stuff that we did, the Rick Martin print, the Tony Todd signed photograph from Zoom is just crazy. You know, I, I love what CW is doing uh, through through Arrow, through The Flash, through Supergirl now. I, you've heard me say I, I just absolutely love it. Uh, some of the other cool items to be able to display. So I want to say thank you guys. We've gotten great feedback. We're going to continue to do Behind the Box every single month. We love to get you guys in on the stories. We have some great stories about some of the items that are coming in next month's box. Uh, we're really excited about. So until then, Thank you, Bambox community, and we'll talk to you soon.